Hey guys, here we have another review, and today, as I hinted in my last video, we've got Frankenstein. He was his 2023 crossover. This box, this was already damaged when I got it. It was like, yeah, couldn't be helped. Got it slightly cheaper than when it was new. And yeah, as I said, crossover. Spin it around to the side. Frankenstein. Back of the box, you got obligatory project sauce shots, whatever it was. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to throw this box just because I actually like it. I actually like the look of it. And also because I like what the next part is. So, I'll just slide this out. So on the there you have Frankenstein or Frankentron Universal Monsters and then this part we can just get out of it it's not needed insert the slide side into the recorder do not touch the tape inside let's go and touch the tape and of course this is like the inside of it the instructions have been for him. As I said, this guy was second hand when I got him, so yeah, throw this back in the box over here. The box. As I said, I like this box, so it's just going to be slapped there and for the review. And now, here we have Frankenstein or Frankentron. This guy will be making his debut appearance soon in stop motion. Oh, get off. I don't really like that. But yeah. Here he is. You see he looks like a tank. He also came with a accessory as you've seen. Which I'm which is just pl plugs in. And yeah. So for quick size comparison in this part, we only really need to do one version of this. Oh, I'm going to do two. We have a version of this mould. I'll explain why this is different. In the, you'll see why this is different in a bit. So here we have... the. I don't have the original mould for this though, sadly. So yeah, this is the best we've got. Apparently it's sim this is similar to most of the freaking moulds anyway. So yay. Love the fact this is a Decepticon signal on stopped on the back and on the top of the cannon there. See ya. All detailing as well on them. Now let's get the only other size comparison we need. And that will be Hailstorm. If you're wondering what happened to the wooden stand I've been using. Pretty much that's been that's still housed and stuff, and I'm sorting the stuff out, so it's yeah, still being used for what its intention originally was when it was originally meant to hold for that figures. But oh well, now let's get down to transformation. Now let's go get you over here. You're gonna be come off the screen, so you don't need it. So, first things first, we want to come to the top, we want to flip, you flip this. So that's now there. We want to pop this back section out. Rotate this. Rotate the head around. Clip that back into place. Now we just fold the legs out. We come to the bottom. And now we just flip these around. And just clop these in here. I'm still good. I missed. I didn't get the Count Dracula pack. Which... It was actually a reuse of Rambat, which I didn't, didn't have. So anyway, clip that there. So yeah, as I said, let me know in the comments what you want me to do for a video. Now, I will actually attempt it. Other than a face reveal, which won't be getting done for a little while now. Like, unless I reach it, like... I don't know. When I get my first subscriber plaque, that's when I'll... Do a face reveal. See ya. 
Anyway, here's this. Now what we do is we deattach the arms, move them up. Ah, oh, God, I've jammed it. Aha, there you go. Now we remove this, put this off to the side. And now that we're done, what we do, we have to rotate these this way. We leave them like this. And now we just rotate the hands out. Here we have Frankenstein. And if you want to know what this is, it's a charging rod. So, to show you what you can do with this, this can go on the back and just plug it on the back there. So now it looks like it's been electrified. And I know of an alternative configuration form, which I'm just going to put into a short, make it simpler. Anyway, so here we have the size comparison. We have... I haven't even transformed them. All right, Hailstorm, transform, now. Ah, there we go. Now... Can you just transform two impactor? There we go. This makes everything better. So, as, you, as I said, you'll see right now why these are slightly different. It was mainly this guy's head sculpt coloration and the fact it's got the record insignia. There's also like slight differences on him from like his original compounder parts. And also just purely, I'm pretty sure it's like slight difference of height. Might just be the head, I don't know. Oh well, who cares. Now, stay impactor, stay. As I said, the main one we need, or the only one we need, is Hailstorm. And his shoulder pads make him bigger than what he is. So yeah, now get close into here. We have a nice Decepticon logo slapped on his chest there. We have obvious paintwork again. And we go back down here. Love the fact these that this part here are just not the same. Just completely different. Showing your patchwork. You can see on this torso here, it's not the same, it's all damaged and everything. But when I do a stop motion, this is literally just going to be one of Shockwave's creations. So that'll be fun. Yeah. This can be stored and put on there, but I prefer it on his back, so yeah. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I haven't given you nightmares by this guy. And now... Eat the darkness.